What's up, y'all? It's your girl, Bruja Africana, coming to you all with the tarot reading. Go ahead and like and subscribe to my channel because we're going to roll right into today's readings. I know it's been a little bit of a um, hiatus for me. I've been in and out, putting a little bit of readings here and there, but let's get back to our regularly scheduled program and get to talking about these um, celebrities, all right? Now, I don't know if this is true, but I did see this on Instagram, and I decided to take it. And then, let's go ahead and do a tarot reading about Krishan, because we haven't done an update on her in a while. Um, but it says that um, she'll be serving eight years in prison. And while I haven't seen that as true, all I've seen is that um, she got charged out here in L.A. And she's serving 30 days or whatever for punching that James Wright guy in the mouth. But I haven't seen the eight years. But what I will say with the tower card being present and Krishan representing herself in the moon card as the Pisces. She um, has got a lot of shit going on with herself. Um, the tower card itself representing the big house in her um, pool. In her pool, the big house also is being represented as her emotional stability like Krishan is crashing the fuck out and the very same demons very same spell she tried to cast to put on blue face whatever it is that she was doing that she's now hiding behind Christianity with she um is very much so possessed by that very same spirit now she's done all these parties with all of these celebrities and shit and I believe that she may have gotten into something that she's not used to. I tell people all the time, if you are used to Jesus, 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 don't jump your ass in the bed with the devil because the, the devil is going to devour you. And that's what's happened to Krishan with the devil card, the Athro, the Eight of Swords, and the um, Nightmare of Bones. Krishan is pr pretty much possessed by whatever spirit it is that she thought was going to um, possess Blueface and keep him there. And um, with that Ten of Bones being a Ten of Wands, that demon that is strapped to her back, let me say it like that, is going to bring her long-term pain. Aside from her being locked up. That long-term pain that is coming with her, um, with the Three of Bones, it has to do with everything that's going to happen after this um, jail, this lockup, whatever comes from her being arrested this time. That Three of Bones and that Ten of Bones is the after effects of what has happened or what will occur because she has now been locked up. Now, like I said, Krishan is going to try to play that role of super Christian. She's going to, with the guidebook coming up, she's going to get all into her Bible. You know, like she's on Twitter now tweeting shit. And I know that y'all like, oh, her page got hacked. No, the fuck it did. And that's her. Y'all remember back in a day like 2004, those of y'all that were born then. Now, some of y'all might not even been around. But those of y'all that were around, remember back in the day when Twitter, it wasn't 2008, it was like 2012. Um, remember, um... You used to be able to text what it was that you were posting onto Twitter or social media, period. That's what Krishan is doing. She's not able to use a regular phone, so she's using like a flip phone or some shit that she's supposed to have in jail. But anyway, she's doing all of this tweeting about every fucking thing except the whereabouts of her son. She's tweeting Bible scriptures and trying to make it look like, look, I'm on my shit. I'm working on myself while I'm inside. I have renewed my relationship with Christ. I'm, I'm working on myself, self-love, self-love, self-love. So y'all going to hear a lot of people feloniously use the, the, the um, phrase self-love in a toxic way. And it's going to be the most toxic people using this to try to mask the fact that they've indeed fucked up. And Krishan is going to try to use this self-love and biblical shit to try to fool everybody that she has changed. But the judge, like I told y'all in that last reading, that Krishan rocks karma, I'll tag that video. I told you that judge, <clears throat> whomever this judge is, already has an axe to grind. It's probably because they know that Kamala Harris is about to be the president and they want to punish black women. They are going to make an example out of Krishan now. Not that she does not deserve any of the time that she's going to get but the judge feels like she's full of shit that um terror of cups card that is the king of cups he feels like she's full of shit she's full of sh uh bullshit nothing that she's saying is truthful he feels like um with that um terror of cups showing up with the two of uh 
crystals and i know y'all can't see it but that's the hanged one cards with the four of daggers damn i'm gonna take them pictures over but that's the hangman card in the middle he feels like legally the best thing for Krishan is to go and sit her ass down what do i mean go sit her ass down he means it's, it's be maybe best for her to carry her ass to jail for a little while even if she don't do the whole eight years she probably gonna get sentenced to four y'all you know that means that she's gonna do two that's what that two of pentacles also means too or two of crystals that means that she may get four she gonna do two years okay she is not going to you know skate around this shit that's in oklahoma she still wanted as a fugitive in Oklahoma. She served a 30 here in L.A. County. Now she's going to be extradited. But Krishan, being Krishan, she's not even really thinking in a good capacity because her mind is on Blueface. Blueface is the rigid. That is the white card in the bottom left, y'all. I'm going to stop taking pictures with flashes on it. Um, the devil card, the star card, and the rigid, that's Blueface. Her mind is still very much so caught up on Blueface. Like I told y'all before, Blueface is her god, okay? Here he comes again as the devil card, the star card, and again the rigid card being shown. Krishan being the delusional self that she is with that Pisces energy on that seven of cups. Whomever it is she's talking to or um, speaking about, all she's doing is being delusional about this relationship too she um somehow feels like things are going to be okay between the two of them she feels like blue is going to hold her down um he's going to be there and wait for her to get out of jail because she seemingly has done the same thing for him but <clears throat> that's not what it is he's not even concerned about her um let's go back to the judge for a minute and the judge not believing Krishan being this changed woman that she's trying to portray. It's almost like the judge or people <clears throat> that are important. If you factor in a judge, people, I guess, like her fans or just people that are concerned. They're asking her, where is her son? I think Blueface may be concerned a little bit about where is his son. Because he's aware that Krishan is only thinking about him. And not about the twists and bends and changes that this little boy is going through. He's being represented in the sun card there with the death card and the three of swords. Like, yo, where the fuck is Junior, Krishan? Are you concerned with where he is? Are you concerned with the fact that um, nobody is speaking for this baby? It's more a thing of people are speaking up on the situation of like, this has to be done. You know, people are like, we don't want him in the system, but he's kind of burdensome to people i told y'all before and this is without judgment in my tone there is something wrong with that baby okay and the weird thing is right now i don't know where he is but he's in a space where he's bouncing back and forth and of course i ain't supposed to flat out no i don't know the girl but I do know that it is fucked up that her son is out here bouncing around in the world from person to person that does not really care about him. He's in between people that really only got him there just for the moment. These are people that feel like Krishan may owe her a favor or owe them a favor. Or Krishan may feel like they owe her a favor and they should keep her son. And she's kind of burning up bridges behind this with people because people are like, yo, ain't no money coming in. Your son is developmentally delayed or has at least some some form of disability going on that maybe these people are not equipped to take care of. You know what I'm saying? Like some people don't know how to take care of kids that have these special needs. Krishan ain't thinking about that because the only thing that she's looking about, um, thinking about um, fulfilling is her relationship with Blueface. It's the only reason why she had the little boy in the first place. So the little boy is not in a stable place. He is not in a space where he's being really truly taken care of or cared for by the people that have him. So he very much could be in state custody. With the four of bones being in reverse, this is not his family that he's with, okay? The five of um, daggers shows up saying that these may be people who do owe Krishan a favor. But let's get back to the judge, like I was saying. The judge feeling like she's full of shit because, remember I told y'all the judge would take into consideration her past? The judge doesn't believe that she's changed. 
the judge, like everyone else, is concerned with the whereabouts of her son. Behind closed doors with the nightmare of crystals and the rigid car, Krishan is only talking about Blueface and her reconciliation with him and how she hopes that he hasn't changed on her or won't hurt her and they still got whatever going on that they had going on. See, she's not concerned with who this person is that has maybe temporary custody of her son. This person that is putting this baby through these heartbreaking changes. Now, I'm not saying that the child is being beat on or something, but he's being neglected and not necessarily cared for by this person. And hell, that could be Krishan because it represented a, I'm sorry, it, there was a queen of coins being represented there. Meaning that that could be Krishan, that the judge is looking at her as not necessarily the most fit mother. But anyway, we're speaking about the people that Junior is around. That five of daggers, that terror of crystals, that's the queen of pentacles. That's the woman who is um, in and out of the boy's life, who is um, not necessarily there for him. Not that she doesn't care about him, but he's not the center of her attention. That's Krishan. But if we're speaking about where the whereabouts of Junior himself right now, it keeps changing. With the death card showing up, he's in between house to house. Out like He's just around too many different people. And if she does get eight years, then he's not going to have any relationship with his mother. It's going to be hard for her to leave him. Because I'm not saying that she doesn't love her son. She loves him how she knows how to love because, you know, her family loved her the same way in that toxic, broken up family type shit. But if she gets that eight years, this is her own doing, okay? She'll be at least gone almost five years from him. And in that time, again, with that five of bones, the judge won't see fit for anyone that Krishan has this baby attached to or anyone that she thinks that he can go and stay with the judge won't feel like they're fit and he'll remove the baby from their home too so essentially junior will be bouncing around an outsider looking in not being loved not being cared for not being treated as as treated as a human being but more so as a baby should be treated Right now, he's being looked at as a meal ticket because, A, this is Krishan and Blueface's son, and B, he has a mental debilitation, allegedly. Let me make sure I say that because it's never been confirmed nor denied. But because that little boy is special, let's put it like that, people are looking at him as a meal ticket, but that money ain't coming as quick as Krishan is um, promising that it'll be there. So even after he's, he's taken out of state custody, if he's in state custody, he'll be taken out of that and he'll be moving from house to house to house. Meanwhile, again, that four of bones is in reverse. Krishan will be nowhere in sight, meaning that she won't be integral to his upbringing. She essentially won't be his mother. She'll just be the woman who gave birth to him because she's probably going to go to jail, y'all. I told you about two years she's going to do. Even if they just hold her for two years, that's exactly what's going to happen, okay? But she's not going to be in her son's life. Eight years, come on, she's not going to even have a relationship with that baby. But she don't care. The only relationship she give a fuck about is Blueface. Well, we'll see what happens going forward, y'all. All right.